Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gobi Guide Zero to Hero Progression Series. This will be episode 12, and to be honest, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do Giganox or Logia Cruz. What I am sure of, and I apologize in advance if you are a Switch Axe or a Longsword Enjoyer, but I'm not going to do monsters with those weapons in the gauntlet anymore until we get a real weapon, because these weapons are just so, 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 so bad. The Bone Axe, uh, this is not available to us. I don't want to make that. <laughs> the Bone Axe is so bad, and this is so bad. The Ananta Bone Blade, which is all we have. Like, it's just terrible. I can't even upgrade this until Volcano, and it's not good. It's just not. And this one, too. Can't upgrade until Volcano. I have some Lagier Cruise materials because uh, I did some stuff in Locklack. So that's why you might see some stuff there, but for the purposes of you know what i'm doing here which is fighting everything with on rank gear it's not available to me so don't worry about that um the reason to do lagia cruise with uh giganox excuse me is because i don't have um a mega demon drug which is required to make the fire sword and shield i could get it earlier just by getting cha cha to mystery pot mask level three which probably is going to happen in the course of the hunt and in my opinion, you could just skip Giganox until until you have like better gear. It's not really an important fight, but I just I like if you're fighting Lagia Cruz, it's going to be a tough fight, and I would really recommend that you have your sword and shield. If if you're sword and shielding, I recommend you having it all the way up as high as possible. So, um, like I said, I'm not sure if I want to do a gauntlet of Giganox, or I'll probably circle back to it. But let me just do one right now, and I can uh, probably, I'll probably be able to make the, whatever that fire sword upgrade was, I'll probably be able to make it by the end of one hunt. Like, it, it just takes a pale extract. I have the demon drug here already. I think I just crafted one sometime. Yeah, I just, I just made one sometime. So let's, let's do that. I don't know how this is going to go. Like I said, even I personally do not fight Giganox until later, so I've, I've never done it with Henri Kira, to be honest. And the funny thing is, I find Giganox a little difficult, um, not because not because of its, of its movements or anything, it's because he just feels like really tanky. I, I'm never happy with my Giganox hunt times, that's what I mean, that's that's where my dissatisfaction comes from. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes with my gear that is just like... Uh, kind of bad <laughs> but this is this is what I can have on rank so I should bring some potions we'll bring some antidotes you don't sell antidotes you're kidding me online they sell antidotes antidote herb that, that's no that's not what I want okay they'll give me antidotes in the um in the supply box I probably won't need it but Weirder things have happened. I would be lying if I said I never got poisoned by Giganox. Just like, yeah, it's just like shit happens. Everyone gets hit by something at some point. Like, even if it's really stupid. Someone's gonna get hit by it. You make some mistake and you get hit. That's Monster Hunter. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot to look up Giganox's uh, weaknesses to fire. I don't like hitting it with fire. And I think it's because it's... It's primary elemental weakness is fire, but like, I think it only takes 20% damage um, compared to like, what would be good would be like 50%. That would be like maybe a normal monster where that would be good. Um, okay, so it's nest is in five and that's usually where it spawns, but for the intro, it might be in four. I don't remember. Oh, I nailed it. Holy crap. I can't believe I got that right. Yeah, these, this is this weird quirk where they just introduce the monster to you in some weird specific zone and it never goes there again, so probably it speaks to how many times I've played new characters in this game that I know this, or I just, I probably just guessed, to be honest. I have made a lot of alts, though, for reasons I don't know. I just, I just love this game, that's all. Giganox is gross. Giganox is cooler than Kazu, in my opinion. In my opinion, Kazu just sucks. Like, the no music thing is cool once, and then it's never cool again. 
And the fact he just like sniffs around and then does nothing and then does like little lunges at you, I think it's super, super lame of a fight. I like Giganox a lot more. Thunder Giganox is cool too, if you're from 3U. That's one of the subspecies I actually do like. A lot of the subspecies I think are just lazy reskins and the one extra move is not interesting. Uh, oops. I, I forgot this, um... I don't load a lot of Pierce because I don't have the Diablo set which gives Pierce Pierce all up. So I would load two more shots. It's not used to loading only six shots of something. Um, oops. I, I was gonna... It's it's still hard for me to talk while hunting. I was gonna comment on how this two-way deviation is killing me. It's a real problem with this gun. In high rank, when you pierce, you're never gonna have to deal with two-way deviation if you build your gun correctly. But in low rank, it's um, you, there's an option you can make a, the royal launcher frame with this gun, but the range actually gets so compressed, I don't like it. So I just live with this, and this one just loads more shots too. So. I just feel more comfortable with a jagged frame, even though it gives me this garbage to a deviation. If you had like some crazy pre precision talisman, you could probably fix it. So I'm just blocking with the barrel here. Giganox's roar is actually very dangerous. It has the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It has the unique on. It has the honor of being the first high-grade roar in the game. So if you have earplugs, you cannot survive the roar. You must have high-grade earplugs. So don't bring just earplugs to this fight. Bring high-grade earplugs, or nothing at all, which is what I have. Um, if he hits you with the roar, the stun lasts forever, and he can just combo you with the jump flop. Like, that is something he can do, and there is no recourse. If you're hit by the stun, you are going to get hit by the jump flop. There's no way out. Oh my god. That Banabra showing up, like... In my camera there freaked me the hell out for a second there, I had like a jump scare. So uh, I didn't... I forgot to look up the actual pierce damage hit zones. It's called a shot hit zone from what I've seen like FAQs call it. Or facts. I call them facts. Apparently that's kind of weird. People call them FAQs, but do, do people really not call them facts? It sounds way funnier, which is the metric you should measure all things by. Is it funny? Right? Ah, poison! Yeah, get those Monopos from me. Alright, I broke the head. Um, Giganox has a sort of reward oddity where if you want a fearsome maw, its most um, rare item drop, you need to break both the head and the chest. Um, the chest is actually kind of hard to break for blades, which is why I always gun this fight. I, I just always pierce this fight. It's been a long time since I've done anything else. So I have no idea how the gauntlet is going to go, but that's part of the fun of this series. But it's also why I want to delay doing the gauntlet, because I want to come back when I actually have fire weapons. I think it's a travesty that tries weapon progression is kind of so bad. I mean, of course you can't. You can do it. You can do anything you want, <laughs> if you put your mind to it. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't think he can flop onto me from this direction. He's not... He has to be, like, in line with me. Yeah, he's a turn to me first, so I'm actually out of here first. But if you're head-to-head -head and he roars you, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna eat a flop. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Just check me. Very bad for adrenaline, by the way. Oh, there we go. All right, we got that break, and... Um, Pierce combines are actually hard to come by, so we are going to our backup shot now. It takes bird wyvern things, which you have to shop during gen online, it's the best way to get it. Or you can trade from the Argosy Captain. It's cheap, but it's still, you know, trading with the Argosy Captain is just, it's just annoying. The UI is annoying. Like, yeah, it, it just sucks. So get it from online. Um, so the funny thing about Gun is you can shoot at Giganox when he's in the ceiling. You can obviously you can't touch him with blade when he's in the ceiling, but like I don't like to do it because I fire peers and my damage is distributed over like space. When I fire on it in the ceiling, my distance a my distance is wrong, and b I don't get the multi hits. So oops. So like I just feel like I'm not doing any damage, and I've rarely staggered it off the ceiling. 
I thought fire might be better, which is why I messed with fire with him, but then I, it wasn't working, and I looked at the hit zone, and I was like, oh, I'm not doing any damage with fire, so it's super weird. You know, I'm coming around on Pierce too, at least for low rank, but there's, I mean, uh, rapid fire Pierce, but there really is no reason to use this stuff in, um, in high rank, you just don't have to. Okay, I guess that went really well, I would say that went pretty well. Is it going this way? I, I hope it's going this way. Ah, I should have painted it. Uh, I'm gonna capture it, but in high rank you should never capture it, actually. It's super weird. This is the one monster where, for one of the rewards, you have to carve it. The Unnerving Talon Plus. You have to carve it. There's no other way to get it. So in high rank, I recommend... He's still in here. Okay. In high rank, I recommend killing every Giganox you come across, unless it's, of course, a capture quest, then you have to capture it. Oh god, don't tell me he didn't come here. I don't I don't know where he goes, guys. I, he never spawns there. You never fight him there. He he never is going to zone there. So like I okay, I guess he's here. Yeah, I, I have no idea where he goes. You're never gonna see him here either when you like fight him for real. He's gonna just stay in um He's gonna stay in Oops. Well, well, I'm looking at these numbers. Five and seven. That's all you're gonna see him in. So all this stuff is like just a curiosity. I'm even surprised that he can come here. Okay. Low rank, um, I think you can get Unnerving Talons if you capture him. I, 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 I kind of don't care, so this ends the fight faster. I just do it. Probably, if you, if you want to kill him, probably it's better. Pfft, no. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, online, just kill, kill, kill. Kill Giganox. Okay, give me one pill extract, and I think I'm making the executive decision to move on to the Lagia Cruise Gauntlet. This was eight minutes. That's not bad. Yeah, I think that's not bad for me. I guess I'm still in, like, tier one armor, right, guys? Like, this is alloy armor. My gun is stupid. My, my gun can't shoot straight. It's like, whatever. I'm not gemmed for damage. Was... Eight minutes is fine. Yeah, so the the chest, like, I haven't played it in forever, but the chest is hard to break. I remember um, the upstabs from the lance, like, having the easiest time with it, but otherwise, like, you're hitting the wings, you're hitting the back, it's super weird. This is an uh, uncanny hide, yeah. So Fearsome Maw is its, uh, quote-unquote, best drop. It's, it's, yeah, it's the rare drop. I don't know if it's as rare as other things, but I think you can carve it. You can carve it in high rank, I think? I don't, I don't know. I don't have all of this stuff memorized, despite what you may believe. <laughs> I am a super fan, though. That, that much is true. I'm sure someone out there has all this reward stuff memorized. You just play long enough, it's like, oh, okay, sure, I know. Okay, we indeed got our pal extract. That's like a super common drop. You're going to see it all the time. Hey, look at this. Uh, since when did the alloy armor have this, like, green decorative stuff? I like it. I never noticed. What the heck? Or you know what? Maybe it's because I never make alloy gunner armor. Because, uh, yeah. Cool. So, again, this series is showing me more stuff. It's super awesome. Alright. Mega Demon Drug. Ooh. Bad success rate. But, like I said, if you have question marks, your first one's always uh, success. Don't ask me why. Mega Armor Skin. Can I combine that into something? Like a shot or something? Oh, I can combine it into a horn or something? Yeah, sure. I'm never going to use the Mega, mega uh, Armor Skin, so I'll just... Continue filling out the combo list for an in-game award. It's not really anything special. Um, yes. Okay, let's... Please tell me I can upgrade more than just this. I'm going to need another... What is this? I'm going to need another Bone Tomahawk to go to the Lagia Sword as well. That's going to be pretty nice. Jin. Okay. So this will come with Rathalos. Look at this thing, man. This thing is super sweet. How, how cool is that sword? It's like a... Just hot off the anvil. Molten hot. You've been pounding it. Pretty cool. What does this one look like? Oh, yeah, I can't see it. What? Okay, whatever. Um, Icicle Spike is coming. That's actually really nice. I guess I can make Shadow Saber. Yeah, I'll, I'll make everything. I always make everything. This is ready to go. Okay, enough, uh, enough foreshadowing what I want to make. Let's fight Lagia Cruz. Um, I suppose if I have earplugs, I should bring it. <laughs> I really wish I had a better hammer than Peco Flint. 
I feel like element matching is okay when you're still in low rank because you just don't get like the Devil Joe hammer or, or the Latran hammer, which are just like insane raw with purple. So if you're if you're only gonna get green and the raws are pretty similar, I feel like the 410 fire, like oh, 320 fire, why not? Just take it. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's not that much less raw, and I feel like the element matters. Maybe I have I don't I haven't put it in. Okay, um, and we're gonna take that. Okay, yeah, like you can see, I haven't really planned this. <coughs> Excuse me. It's uh, it's some ungodly hour here. It's 1:30 a.m. That's when I have time to film these things. And uh, yeah, I made the Raffian armor and some baggy armor. You can see it in my progression armory. I. Don't spend the plate on it. You do not have to spend the plate. In fact, it's probably a worse set if you use the chest. Like, you don't want to use the full thing. Oops. Let's make some space and get our items right. Really wish they put this box outside. I think they fixed it in 3U. It's such a... But it's such like a small and obvious thing. Why, why can't they just get it right the first time? Curse you. <laughs> okay, flaming shot. Because we're poor. So we loot the box for that. The dung, get out of my box. Uh, but get out of my bag. Okay, uh, we'll change you to... I don't know, acorn mask. Yeah, I... I don't know. We grilled some steaks. We're gonna try to level Chacha up. I feel like this levels him up, but I don't really know. Alright. Okay, I haven't hammered a Lucky Cruise in a very long time. And to be honest, I kind of anti-recommend it because the KO duration I feel is not very good. But we're here, we're gonna do it. As uh, one of my viewers said, I think, live, love, go be guide. Okay, what is this? Fell the Lagi Cruise. All right, here we go. Oh, where does, where does it spawn? I mean, I mean, this is a... Uh, it's not going to give me like an intro movie, is it? Like, like the Giga Nox spawning in the wrong place just the one time. I I'm just going to go right to where it normally spawns. Um, fun fact. So there's a secret exit out of the base camp. There's always a secret exit out of the base camp. Actually, that's not true. That's not true in Tundra. And so you can go from base camp straight to 5, and people think, oh, I'll take the secret exit, go to 5, 9, 10, 11. It is way slower than doing what I'm doing here. You just want to jump off the Rathian cliff to get directly to Lagia Cruz. Um, it saves you, like, by the time you get there, they're probably still jumping into the water at 10, or they're swimming, but the other thing, aside from saving that time, swimming sucks, so, you know. It's, this, this path is better. It's funny, I was playing with them um, back in the official server days. I was playing with three 999ers. I hung out with 999ers, even though I was never one. And we went on this quest in advanced, high rank advanced Lage Cruise. He, it's this area. And so a few of us spawned at the base camp, coincidentally. I think like three of us spawned at base camp in high rank. And I took this path, and they took the other path. And I was the first one here. And then we got the quest again, and they all took my path. So it's like, yeah, they saw what I did. They saw that I won the race, and they nobody said a word. They just, okay, they're all on my path now. So I was, like, very proud of myself. <laughs> that was like, a, who was it? Falcon? Blade of Falcon? Um, okay, so he's, he's starting off in a fucked up area again. So maybe the swimming path would have been better. But like I said, this is... This is the one time he starts in a fucked up area. I, I can remember. So yeah, I was like, Blood of Falcon. Who else? I played with Top, Trombe. But I, I forget who was in the city. Laix was in 999, but he may as well have been. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I miss my friends. I do. Oh, I wonder how they're doing. I hope they're doing well. I wonder if Top was there. Top, Arclight. Arclight was the most insane Arclight and Top both were the most insane players I've ever seen they're just fucking insane they're so fucking good and I mean I'm talking like 
Like, I've seen the top players. Like, I've, I've seen videos and stuff. Why didn't I roll it? It was weird. So you can see earplugs I didn't, um, couldn't flinch from that. Yeah, so like, I, you know, these days I kind of talk to Gale, Gale a little bit on, um, the server project discord. He's obviously incredible. Um, can you tell I don't hammer this? What the fuck? But look, even... Right? Even if I had hit the first one, like, I only got one pound on the second one. He doesn't give you two triples. So, like, I really hate... I hate hammering it. I really do. It's just like, you don't... You can't get the damage in. Like, if you can't get two triples, I feel like, oh, what's the point of a knockout? And the funny thing is, a backstagger is way better than a knockout. So, Bowgun gets backstaggers like crazy. So, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. I will say, though, that I don't expect to do great with the Bowgun because I don't have enough damage per ball. Oh, I'll talk about it when we get there. So, we'll just keep doing this. Um, Loggy Chris has this funny thing where when he turns, he kind of always puts his head um, in your path. So, like, like, you would think that hammer would be great, except, like, you can see that I'm not... Oops, I'm not, like, having a great hunt right here, and I swear... I, I know, it's, I am rusty, but it's not just me. I am, like, probably better than a random hammer you're gonna meet in a lobby. So, even now, it's like, ooh, I don't like this so much. I just don't have the damage. Like, Lance, I would have gotten, like, six pokes right there, and here I am swimming around headhunting. And the, um, oops, the chest hit zone is where the money is, so, okay, I'm getting absolutely on. What did I say about being better than random? Am I stunned? Oh my god. I think I can sneak a potion here. Yeah, I'm doing so bad, guys. I think I hammered Logic Cruise when I first played the game, like, played it for the first time, and I was sort of hammering everything because, you know... Yeah, I mean, like, the game is hard, and, like, how many weapons are you going to have when you start? So, I was hammering everything, and, yeah, that was, that's the only experience I have hammering. Here I am now, trying to hammer it. <laughs> it's a little better in a, in a group, because, well, oops, oh, I thought I was out of range of that. A little better in a group, because you can at least score KOs, like a status effect for your team. It's like a paralysis. A bad one, but... The hip check is by far Loggy's oh what? Most dangerous attack. I still find it extremely dangerous. You can see he's messing me up with it. I think everyone gets fucked up by the hip checks. That's really tough. Wait, why am I not out of <gasps> I'm in I have double stun because of um because of my speed sub talisman. Oh that's amazing. Oh I'm getting so owned. This is a great video. Okay, I had I probably survived off feline moxie there. I don't think I can sneak a second potion there. That lightning field is very annoying. This one's fine. Well, it's fine if you're Lance. Or, I guess if you're, it's fine if you're a great sword or hammer too, because you're never really hugging his body. It sucks if you're a long sword. Okay. Let's try not to get hit by some stuff. Okay, well, I broke the head. And to be honest, I don't know that I should keep aiming for it. Um, should I aim for his chest? Don't know. Don't know. I find even Loggy surfs a little. He's tired. Is he tired? He looks tired. Wow, I guess I exhausted him, but I hit mostly the head. It wasn't like I was getting body shots. Oh my god, it occurred to me that hammer's a little bit like boxing, you know? Like, hit the head for knockouts, but you hit the body shots to uh, deal long term exhaustion and damage and stuff. I don't know. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to hammer like a noob here. I think I'm just going to go for this. I didn't look up the damage beforehand, like the hit zones. I should. I really should have. I meant to hit the head there. Ow, that stupid electric field that really increases the range of his uh, surfy thing. I want to get one more knockout. Did I get two already? Because if I haven't, the second one should be close. Okay, yeah, there. I guess I will hit the uh, back because it's, it's available to me. Um, I'm not doing tons of raw here, so I'm just gonna go for hits. Okay, we need to sharpen. 
Oh, fun fact. I guess he has the stun recovery. But I really don't know. I don't know his behaviors here. So on land, he has the... Oh my god, I just got the sharpen. Fuck you, Lundra. On land, he has the extra recovery, so that's nice. A few monsters have a few, like, extra recovery coming out of flash state or stun state. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know why I pressed that second slam. Uh, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Okay, then you're gonna growl? I don't wanna heal, I wanna do this. I think I'm gonna break a claw or the chest or something. It's like the first time I've done the spin just to deal elemental damage. This is a renaissance for me, I'm doing all kinds of crazy stuff I never do. He's re yeah, I was wondering if he's angry. Yeah, okay, yeah, we, we spin now. I feel like a noob. <laughs> I really am a noob at this fight with this weapon. Okay, um, we're okay on sharpening still. Okay, uh, it's unsafe to spin the body. It's really dumb, so I, I'm not sure what to do. Bonk. Maybe just headhunt again. You can see it's not that hard. It's, it's a standard, like, turn and pound. He does, like, a wide turn and then a small turn. Oops. So just be aware of that and, well, you can headhunt too. I wish I could cut that tail. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. How am I doing? Oh, look at the fun thing. When the Echo Flint reaches full charge, that little flint lock, whatever that's called on top, opens up. When it's usually closed. So, Oh, the chest. I got the chest. Cool. Am I going to get a third knockout here? I'm not hitting the head, so probably not. About here, Wendy? Yeah. Ow! Maybe that's not safe, because if he walk slithers forward, I'm I'm eating the uh, eating a tap. Dunno. There's lots to learn here. Is he Dunzo? He's Dunzo. Oh my god. Does it just feel like it's going fast? Because that was I mean that's not a good time. That's I, I feel like over ten minutes is not a good time. But it, again, it probably just depends on the matchup and the weaponry and whatever. But, uh, it didn't feel like 10 minutes. Maybe it's just, uh, talking and makes it, makes the time fly by. Oh my god, I got st Okay, so, um, Lagia Cruz inflicts Thunder Blight, which means you get stunned more easily. So, to be honest, I get stunned in this fight fairly often, but that was really nice to have double stun, like, actively hurt me. I can't believe I couldn't mash out of a stun. That was really tough. That's cool. Okay, yeah. So I have, yeah, earplugs. You can see earplugs at work. Earplugs is one of the best skills in the game. Whether or not it's worth making Rathian armor. Oh, I have Rathian armor. I didn't need to eat for health. I have health. Oops. I'll change that if I use this again. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's worth making Rathian armor for earplugs. Maybe. It's, it's not the worst thing ever. So, you can see I, uh, this provides no defense. I should probably just, well, I don't have anything. But Rathian chest is like actively bad so just don't make it make these other pieces and look i have the rathian skills without the chest piece so i didn't have to spend a plate and i also don't have this um demonic blessing which is another like downside to having earplugs you get demonic blessing so if you wear the whole thing you get it but the way i gemmed it well i mean when I built the four pieces and just gem it in, you don't get it. So, like, I feel like the game is testing you if you understand the armor skill system. So, again, the chest is just, like, use any highest piece of armor you have, like, with the highest defense value. It's, like, it doesn't matter. If you can get another armor skill, like, if, it, if you have something that synergizes with a talisman, go for it. I just had this speed setup and double stun talisman, so nothing I wear matters. Okay, so what you want from Lagia Cruz are plates and horns. So yeah, I got a horn. Awesome. Plates, horns, and tails, which we have to carve. And at some point, you don't need tails anymore. Um, the plates aren't super rare because... Oh, nice. 
I'll let the cutscene play. Without, I mean, I'll shut the hell up now. All right, so if you haven't been following the story, which, you know, I haven't been, like, doing it, um, Mogo Island is suffering earthquakes, and everyone thought it was the Lagia Cruz, like, causing the island problems and threatening to sink it, but we just captured it, and it's still happening, so it obviously wasn't Lagia Cruz. <laughs> Are you sure you finished the job? Yeah, man, I have the, I have the mats to prove it. So, big mystery. Gambala. And I think we have finally the good foods. Yeah, big meat. The big meat. And Gildy. What's up? You call? Okay, so yeah, we unlocked the volcano. Finally, yes. Okay, so we'll continue our Lagia Cruise Gauntlet. I think she sells alloy now, so if I really wanted alloy blade, which I might, I could buy it. Let's go through all this. I need more cactus flowers, damn it. Okay, yeah, sure. Cool. And how's our. I started the Moga farming empire. Look at all this goody stuff. Good, 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 and... Put the fish finders in. Put the fish finders out. Shake it all about. Oh, I guess this is when you get change appearance. Huh. Yeah, what do you know? Change symbol color. I don't think this really does anything. Yeah, not too much. Oh, red, red for the red hair, but you shouldn't match, guys. You should coordinate. But I think, um, like bottoms with tops matching is good, or like there should be like one layer of separation. I don't know. I'm not a fashion person, but like the shoes match the shirt, but not the pants. So here, my skirt matches my hair. I just made this up, guys. I okay, no, I didn't. I heard it from someone. But all right, that was hammer. Um, doing great sword next. I think I want focus. I'm not sure. We'll use our Valkyrie blade. It's a shame we don't have Sieglinda because that's volcano locked. Oh, I forgot to feed him the steak. Um, put that away. Okay. Oops. Uh. I was going to say, I don't need to eat for health because I have Rathian armor, but I'm not using Rathian armor, so we will eat for health and attack. You can eat for whatever you want. This is my personal preference. Having the max health is really, really nice, so that's what I eat for. If you want to spend like a max potion, that's totally fine. It's it's not expensive to make, really. It's, pr it's pretty affordable. You just have to farm the materials, so if you have that, you could like just eat for something else. Okay. Oh, Cha Cha's gone. I was like, wait, where's Cha Cha? Oh man, what's, who's gonna who's gonna carry the hunt now if I don't have Cha Cha? Hey, this might be a good time for the great sword. Maybe um, I can hit some stuff. I was talking to someone on the server project Discord named Melgui. Um, they're incredibly good, and they were using great sword, and we were talking about great sword in Lagia Cruz, and um, Lagia Cruz has this movement, this back step so either he'll turn his head directly into you in which case you're hitting a level three on the, to the head or he'll back step and depending on how you've aimed the great sword you're with i oops i didn't mean to get that my, per, my precious steak i wanted to eat my rations that was for cha-cha um and i hypothesize that if you always aim for the back step you're going to hit both movements, either the turn or the back step, because 
He's, he's not here? Um, when he turns, he homes his head into you, like you saw with the hammer part. But with so so, if you aim for the back step and he does the back step, you hit it. If you aim for the back step and he does the turn, you hit it because you can't miss the turn. So that was my hypothesis. But I, like I said, I, I, I have to test it. I am not a good great sword, so let's see how this goes. I also was not a good hammer, as you saw. I got kind of my ass ripped open. I didn't carve, thankfully. <laughs> In the last online hunt video, yeah, I totally... We each carded once, so that was funny. So I aim for the back step. No, I'm not close enough, though. Oh, focus was too fast. Maybe focus will be good if he's uh, raged, but... Huh, I gotta delay my, my timing there. I can't believe it. Maybe this is a no-focus fight. Okay, back step here I would hit, I think. There we go. Again. Okay, okay, okay. Doing okay. Hello. And I'm gonna go for a tail cut. This is probably anger. No? You're kidding me, how is he not angry? Wait, how did that hit me too? I'm being double kitted. Somebody check the tips. Double kit. Oh, I think I should aim further back. Okay, I got the turn, but I think um, if he did a back step there, I wanted to aim further toward the tail. So I gotta try to be cognizant of that. It's what? Okay, I thought I rolled that one. That's, that one's available without evasion one, and I am. Um, it's within my my skill to evade it. I guess I just fucked it up. Oh no, the slew drop is looking at me many sitting. It's terrible. But yeah, you can see what I mean by it. you kind of can't miss. So just aim before the turn and you're gonna You're gonna get logged to eat shit. Focus is too fast! Okay, he didn't give me a turn anyway, so that was that was gonna be fucked. Um, flash bombs are pretty good against Loggy. If he backsteps here, I get him, I think. Get out of the way. Just go for level 1 there. Oh my god, that blue draw fucked me up, I think. Okay, this'll be good. Okay, finally we're angry. Man. <laughs> I swear to you, like, after, on online, if after the head stagger and the tail hit, I am pretty sure that is it. Insta rage. Yeah, okay, focus is playing much nicer now that he's raged, so. Yeah. I just go for the tail hit there when I stagger the head. Oh, I didn't get out of the way. Dude. Oh my god. If someone has any advice on how to survive the hip check, please let me know. Like, I need to, I'm still trying to improve in this game. I was talking to somebody. Who I played with briefly online before they moved on to different Monster Hunter games. Because, you know, they were happy with their Baryoth armor and getting past the Latrion and then, like, doing a significant chunk of stuff. Like, they were high rank 80 ish. And they asked me, like, what do you still have to do in this game? And I said, I just want to get better. Like, that's all I want to do. I just enjoy playing this game and there's still so much for me to improve on. I'm not as good as I would like to be. Okay, I'm trying to aim toward the tail here. <gasps> Oh, I almost had it! Did you see that? Yeah, 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 I think, I think that works. That was the back step. And I was only off by a little bit, so I, I feel like that was... Um, yeah, that was the theory working. I just have to execute a little better. I ate shit from another head whip, so maybe I don't know how to roll this thing. I'm apparently the worst. Um, get me out of here. His lightning attack is not threatening. It's just this thing. If you're sheathed, you're fine. Of course, you just move around, but... Oh, come on. Hey, 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 hey. We're not done dancing here. I better sharpen. Take some more of these. Yeah, so it, it is a fun greatsword because you can get so many head hits. I'm not doing a good job because I keep saying I'm not a good greatsword, but it's fun. I'm sure someone good, like, I'm sure the task would just rip, does rip Locky shit apart. The task great swords, because, yeah, why wouldn't a great sword? 
If you could always land enormous bombs without ever fucking it up, yeah, why wouldn't you use this weapon? I was gonna say that's probably a snagger. Is this coming off? Oh my god. Oh god. I'm not I'm not too proud to to not block. Do you, uh, you probably get what I'm trying to say. I didn't use my flash bomb yet. I like to just flash it after after charges like this. That's it. That's all I do. It's fine. You can also flash it before charge. That's fine too. I just go for those two basic things. Yeah, chest hit. That's pretty good. Chest is his be best hit zone for raw. Oh, it was close. Yeah, so um, lance poke the chest, longsword. Well, longsword. if your longsword does a ton of fire, you can go for the back. But yeah, the chest is the... Just come all over the chest. Oh, wait, what? What did I say? Uh-oh. Ah! I said that was not threatening. Don't prove me wrong. Don't make me a liar. Will you do something that I like? Don't... Okay, other weapons would really appreciate that, but I'm... <gasps> what are you, a Latrion? Stop. Oh, my God. Two. Yeah, what are you, a Latrion? Stop that. I'm, just, I'm annoyed by how bad this is going. I could get another level zero there or something. I'm gonna go for a draw here. Oh, okay, I hit him on the back switch. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna block again. I was gonna say this probably will tank my sharpness. So we get a sharpen again. Yeah, see guys, I told you I was bad at this. Okay. I'm gonna swim around. I'm gonna try to sneak a sharpen here. Not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Sharpening is um, tough, actually. It's really tough. Wait. Ah. It's only going to get better after this. I'm using my worst weapons. <laughs> Anger means progress, right? That's what my therapist tells me. Wait, no. I think I hit him at least. It'd be fun if I uh, staggered him out of smashing me. Hello, give me your head. Hello. Yeah, that's would have been that would have been nice at the right timing. I think that's a neck hit, not a body hit. I don't really know. That's another thing with uh, Monster Hunter. It's like it's a little hard to tell which hits on you've actually struck. Recharge. Oh my god. My facing was wrong. You can see, he again, he turned his head into me. So my facing was wrong. And I'm eating shit again. Oh, I literally can't even see him. I've had really good hunt times, but I think I came back with endgame gear. Because, you know, farming. At least I hit it. Yeah, this is really bad. You can see, uh, what was my hunt? Yeah, this is already worse than the hammer time. And I actually like this weapon versus Loggy better than the hammer. But this weapon is very unforgiving if you're not good with it. I wonder if he's capture ready. He probably is. If not, he's probably close, but... Uh, I'm so unused to the offline numbers. I'm just gonna wait for it to limp to area 6. Probably isn't far off. I just hit a few more of these level 3s and we'll be fine. This loot drop really uh, wants to complicate things. Go for another one here. Okay, I feel like I could have done this a lot better. Like, this is going really well, right? I'm just... I'm getting three level 3s onto the head, and it's a... It's a stagger, then I smack another level 3. 
I'll wait for this to go off a little bit. I'm probably too early. I'm too early. Oh, I got a hit. Now? Don't. I didn't get a tail off the car. That's a bummer. Whoa. <laughs> this curve inside the neck there. I only got staggered from like wind pressure or water pressure or whatever. It's um it's safe. So you gotta like evade into that curve and you're gonna be okay. Okay, kinda aim toward the tail if he backsteps. <gasps> Holy crap, I did it, I did it! Guys! I, I gotta show Melgui. That's I'm super excited. That you have no idea I'm like leaning forward into the camp, into the mic. I'm really, really pleased with that. That was great. I'm gonna show him that. I'm gonna ping him. Uh, please don't, Luggy. Okay, cool. That's fine. Happy off. Also, don't. Oh, that's right. I have speed setup. I forgot. That's right. I have double stun speed setup. It's gonna be the new meta, guys. If you're not rocking double stun, you're, you just don't know what you're doing. Why would you not use double stun? Okay, so that was a really bad hunt time, but I'm... That was a lot of progress for me. That was great. I'm so happy. That was so good. That is not a horn, so I'm not happy. Unless it's a plate. Oh, it's a plate! <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. 46 minutes already. We did three hunts. That's that's like pretty good pace. Uh, there's always um downtime here because I have to, you know, futz around with my stuff. Resupply up, change my weapon, handle the farm. I kinda like this armor armor what is it? Symbol color? I got the little bit of red on my on my what is it? Behind my knee there? Next to my calf? Like one of my Schindler's list? Pretty I'm fucking Steven Spielberg here. I'm, I'm doing art. There is, um, I'm pressing auto sort here. You cannot stack these fish. You can do it on the farm, but not here. So you just gotta, I don't know, do that. Okay, it's the first time I can go there. We're gonna go to Legendary Tides. There's, um, it costs more resources, but probably you get more scatter fish and you can get a one star commodity, commodity to trade. Okay, what are we doing? Nothing good here. Crazy lucky cat, please. I can use money. Oh, holy shit. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay. My armor set is not good for this. Oh, um. I think technically Poison Stinger is available for the frame. It's actually kind of like an okay frame for low rank because it does so much raw. Like, the raw on Poison Stinger is insane. I think it's the biggest one, actually. Um, but like I said, I don't want to farm... I don't want to farm Giganox right now. So we'll go with this. Okay, they're gonna give me... I'm gonna bring bombs. I have bombs in my box. Um, the problem with this right now, f fire gunning Loggy, I actually really enjoy, and normally it's not a problem, but I don't have enough damage per bullet, so that's what I'm kind of freaking out about. Uh, let's just bring it all. If I need more fire bullets, I guess we're going to revisit the supply box. It's really, it's really kind of pathetic, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. I, I can't make these bombs, can I? Like with hey, look, I already have 100. Yeah, look at this. 85%. I need more um, combo books. I could get chainmail. Okay, uh, I can't. I don't want to bother. I don't have small barrel bombs. I'm gonna get train shots. That's fine. I don't know. Let's just do this. Do I have fire herbs? Huskberry, fire herbs, 
It's like, no. Okay, sure. Okay. No supplies on this character. Just have rows and rows of stuff. Um, you know, if I do another quest, I can get Cha Cha back. You should probably do that. I'm, I'm not going to bother, but you, you should do that. Like, I just do Best of the Lava Beast and he'll come back. I might do it next time, uh, next thing. Because uh, you're going to have Cha Cha when you do the Urgent. And then you can kind of continue progressing. This is just my, like, gauntlet. So, yeah, I suppose. I suppose I should get Cha Cha back. Whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm still super stoked about that, how that great sword fight went. That was really good for me. And you can see that he, like, if, if you don't get the. It, I hit the back step, but if Lagacru's turn, for sure I was going to hit it too. Like, you just, you just know. So, yeah. I thought that was really convincing. Okay, um, I'm going to focus my hits. No! I'm going to focus my hits exclusively on the spine, because that's the spot that takes the most fire damage. So that's uh, specifically for... If your weapon deals a lot of fire, go for the spine. And I think that's kind of limited to like the Agnactor weapons, Agnactor Fire Lance, Dancing Hellfire. Otherwise, go for the chest. Like Bolt Sanger or other Wyvern Blade or whatever. Don't do enough. Ow. Fuck you. I said I would fo focus on the chest, but you know, sometimes you gotta hit fire. Also, I wanted to get my shots in before the roar. Beep, beep. Tropeco Gun is getting retired soon, I have to say. It's a little sad. But oh my god. Wait, is it that easy in low rank? Holy moly. Okay, so look at this look at this stun duration. Isn't that crazy? It's so long. So yeah, just fire the back instead of hammering the head, <laughs> I would say. If you want to do like uh supporty stunny stuff, like this just does more damage and does more stun too, so I think we're gonna tilt him toward us again. Yep. And I will put more damage in preparation for doing this again. How many shots is it to do that? Because if I actually oh see I, I wasted it. If I actually knew I would like pause before hitting the stagger shot. If the monster is staggered and you hit like hit like a stagger point, you're actually gonna miss out on the stagger. So if I just held on the last shot, waited for him to get up, and begin the roar animation, I could stagger him onto the back again, and that would potentially be a complete stagger walk. I think it was like seven, eight shots for stagger. So, I don't know. Oh god, no. I guess it might not be a stagger lock if Lou dropped. Oh, oh, Lou dropped. Shield me, idiot. Get my revenge that way. I'm not hitting the back here, it's a little, angle's a little tough. I feel like I'm cutting it very close. I, I do this a lot with my movements, it's like, okay, I'm out of range, and then like, I'm like, maybe two pixels away, it's like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I thought I wasn't going to get hit by the water pressure there. Hey, eat my hip shot. I suppose I should paint it. I do have Capture Guru, so... Guys, don't bring Capture Guru and no paint, please. I see people do that. Like, why do you have Capture Guru? It, the paintball costs like literally 20 zenny. Just do it. Oh god, I'm gonna... Yeah, it's like I'm gonna eat shit from Mr. Ludroth there. Or Miss Ludroth, it's a she, actually. Can I get you again? Nope. I needed more shots during the stagger, I know that much. Maybe now. Okay, no. Um, I thought it was eight shots. The real question is, do I want to go back to base camp and collect my 15 flaming ass? Because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. I think Lagi always staggers onto its right, so I want to get here before I start firing. 
Yes. If that is not in my notes, I'm going to add it. I don't remember. Because I don't want to hit the chest, really. I want to hit the back here. Whoa, what the? Oh, the trough. I guess technically it like, made it foolproof for me not to get hit there, but... Fuck off anyway. Yeah, onto the right, okay. I feel like I'm... I could script you guys a, like an instant win here with a bow gun, you know? Minus the whole... Uh, yeah, look, so I have no bullets. And... I am... Not capturing. I am also messing up my claw. Is this Xbox controller's garbage with the D-pad? I don't know what's going on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> this entire gauntlet has been an adventure. Hey, well, what do you know? So if you rapid fire fire... So, so the difference between rapid fire and not rapid fire is rapid fire is more damage per bullet but less DPS, damage per second. Where a single fire is more damage per second, but less damage per bullet. So DPB, I guess. Um, elemental is widely... You widely would... Oops. Shit. Um, everyone likes rapid fire elemental. It's good. And rapid fire pierce, you saw that horrendous lag thing. And it's very sensitive to placement and positioning. So rapid fire pierce, bad. Rapid fire elemental, good. So that's, uh, that's kind of the thing. You can see I like I ran out of bullets here, right? So, oops, that's not good. Um, I guess technically I could have made if I make the poison stinger frame, then I would have put out more damage per bullet. So, yeah, maybe maybe that works. Still can't complain too much about how this is going, and I still have all my normal ammo, of course. Am I gonna stun it again here? I would like to. I'll wait for it to. I think I probably missed the stagger point. And I'm already almost out of ammo again, so this is a bit shit. Uh, Alloy is also the wrong armor for this. Like, you should make bear off for this, for the attack up. When you're firing element, you want attack up, not critical eye. The um, critical eye only affects, like, the shot damage part of it, which is, like, an elemental shot is normal one level of shot damage, so... It's, it's not doing anything. So you want to tap up to magnify the elemental damage. Dude, it's still not ready. I, I think I really am going to um, go back for the flaming shots. Yeah, I was... I think I'm underprepared for this fight, because I didn't farm Giganox. But, hey, you know? Whatever. Am I going to go back for those shots? How many do I load? A lot. Eight? Oh! What if I cart? That's a shortcut back, isn't it? I haven't actually used any first aid meds or any potions yet, I think. These bombs would help. Oh, I should med. <laughs> um, bombing underwater is also a little bit weird. Hey, look, I got past it like I said I could. It's like... Oh, God. No! Oh, I think I got it. Did I? I don't know. I feel like you can't set it as fast as on land. There's so many peculiarities about underwater. Get out of here. Oh, the reload sound is also so weird. So here, there, there we go. Oops, did I get hit? No, no, I was in the crook again, so... That little curve is safe. Ouch, that's annoying. Ah, 
Yeah, so this is the problem with gun. If you don't do enough damage per bullet, your hunt is going to kind of suffer. But it was really cool, right? So imagine if I were rapid firing fire, I would get three shots per bullet instead of one. The damage is lower, but the overall damage is higher. So it's like, I don't know. I think it's like 1.8 bullets per bullet. So that's just a lot more damage that I would be putting out per bullet. So this would be a lot better. Stagger lock the back and have a good time. Ow. Oh my god, get out of my way. Please. Just take it back again. This is draw. Five, six, seven. Okay, I might be desperate enough to go back for ammo. This is really bad. I'm really bummed. I really hope I can complete this quest. I mean, I can always fire normal one, but oof. Yeah, I clearly needed to prepare more, so... Bogarners, take note. You, uh... Maximize your damage for this hunt, please. I thought I could squeeze by. But we're on the struggle bus now. One more shot. I wish I had a Farcaster. Angry. Large Barrel Bomb plus two. I probably should have set the Shock Trap for this. Yeah, shut the so set the Shock Trap and get the Barrel Bombs. Just bring everything. Bring damage. Oof. I think that clipped me because of the stupid wall. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Oh wait, is that safe? <laughs> what? Loggy's oh, stupid sometimes. Okay, I had 99 normal 2 to start, so this is... sad. I do have capture the right? Pretty sure I do. I kind of uh, expected severe water blight from that. <laughs> Stupid blue draw. Whoa, I didn't expect it to turn that way. What the heck? I mean, this is part of the plan. I need ammo. <laughs> I really hope it's close. I've put so much ammo into it. Nice, uh... This? I was going to say squirts, but I think they're panties. Alright. If I can't do it in this, well, what can I do? Out of resources. Yeah, I played this hunt badly, but you can see how. Oh, I have this. Yeah, it was just a question of I needed more damage per bullet, and that involves the poison stinger frame. I think you just play poison, tropeco gun, tropeco gun, and you're going to be doing way more damage per bullet. Just upgrade that thing all the way. So I was lazy and I was duly punished. I should have done a Giga Nox Gauntlet. <laughs> Who could have known? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why'd you roar so far away? I was uh, coming closer to set a bomb. Is this my first cart on my solo segments? Oh, no, no, no. I carted to Baroth with Lance, which is embarrassing. And yet I still had like a really good hunt time. Boop. Still not ready. That's bad. Still swimming away, right? Oh no, it's not. Huh. I really thought I was gonna zone. I didn't know you could cancel a zone like that. Oh, 
I just staggered the head, so this is gonna be a short stagger. All right, now we're ready. Yeah, so it takes it just takes too much um, ammo with a low damage gun, which is what I have right here. Don't have the right armor. Don't have the best gun. Yeah, don't don't do this unless you're packing lots of big bombs too. So it's a shame, but hey, yeah, you can see you know, we can still struggle by. I struggled by, and the uh, back staggering part was cool, wasn't it? I thought so. So really bad hunt, yeah, sixteen forty-five. Really bad hunt, but we won. Okay, so we're not doing longsword and switch axe because the weapons available to us and those are just complete garbage. Uh, I have sword and shield. Oh my god, wait, that's another bad one. I'm not looking forward to that. That's a no horn because I didn't break the horn. Sword and shield. I literally never sword and shield underwater, guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be a hell of a hunt. This is a bad video. <laughs> but at least I have fish in my fishing fleets. Lance is going to be, I think, good. The lance, the weapon, the specific lance that I have, it's pretty bad, but nothing you can do about it. But yeah, it's crazy how much, uh, I needed so much ammo to get that. Um, steel, yeah, I'm going to use steel. What is this? Oh, yeah. Um, the opposite of my talisman. And I've got Rampart. Spiral Lance has more sharpness, but this is... And I have Speed Sharpen, so... That's not a concern. If I could have that extra 15 fire shot in the hunt, that would be great. So yeah, underwater is has its own challenges. Lance is actually crazy underwater, so these days I exclusively Lance and gun log Icarus. And again, with the gun I have actual you know damage per bullet, whereas here I don't. So that's painful. Oh, that's butt pushing too. <sighs> yeah, so I'll put it in the description below. Get the poison stinger. Don't gun this with inadequate gun. <laughs> Don't gun this with inadequate gun, guys. Now I'm getting tired. My commentary is probably gonna start to drop off here. It's gonna, it's gonna lag. Karuga calls this moldy brain hours or yam brain. I don't know what yam brain really is. It's like soft and squishy and sugary. Or my like uncooked yam brain, so it's just hard and earthy. I don't know. So that roar is a uh, requires guard one to. Um, this claw swipe you should be. Lance counter again. I mess it up more than I care to admit. Guard one also allows you to get those. Yeah, guard is just awesome in this fight. Counter this. Oh! I was expecting a claw swipe. Uh, I already decided to do that. Yes. So it's funny. Um, I. My gun was very badly set put together, but I never actually make low rank steel. Not because it's bad, but just because I'm lazy. But I have it here, which means this fight I am actually prepared for with the correct armor. Okay, I need to sharpen. It's, you have to maintain green against a lot of these monsters. It's just really bad if you don't. So, and I have speed sharpen, so shing. Steel is really good, guys. It's sad because I really like the way Ignactor looks, but it's just not up to par with. Wait, I was too far to uh, 
counter that? That's terrible. Yeah, so, um... Oh! I did it too early. I was inside the crook, but I had pressed it too early, so I didn't get the invincibility through it. How is he not mad? I'm not putting damage on it. I feel like I've hit it so much. We're gonna get a claw swipe here. Yeah, so you just counter that and keep going. Keep going, baby. I'm inside your body. Keep going. This is Lance's specialty. You just you just hug the body, you just poke away. Poke until there's no HP left. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you do something? You're gonna claw swipe? You're gonna claw swipe you, big baby? Oh, look, I'm inside your neck. What are you gonna do? Oh, stab. Oops. See, like I said, you have to make pin green. So, yeah, people who think Lance is, I don't know, like, oops, the defensive weapon? It's, it's kind of not. Like, would you call this defensive? Uh, me, like, just dancing around it and stabbing the heck out of it? You calm down. Um, I would like to poke out the head. Okay. That's a head stagger, so it's not going to be very good. I missed those pokes, not great. I broke the claw. Oh yeah, his, uh... What the? Yeah, the... Some of the tail whips are, and the head whips are just, like, from really weird directions. Oh, right, this. Yeah, okay. So Lance can just, I, you don't need guard boost, you can go through the small electric field, it's completely absurd. Like, that's one of Loggy's most annoying things if you're, oops, close range blade. And like, Lance can just ignore it, it's just another opening, it's cr completely crazy. Okay, we I gotta get out of dodge here, I might be dead. Oh my god, I'm against the wall. Okay, yeah, that one, you need guard boost, and really it's a last resort, you don't want to be there when he does that. Um, I've staggered the head once. I think uh, I'll be able to break the head. I haven't been putting damage on the tail, so it's probably not going to be a tail cut. But I expect to farm this a lot online with Naruga. Kuruga Naruga. So, it's okay if I don't do the solo farm here. Safe, that's fine. I should sharpen again. Okay, if we're gonna leave, I'll sharpen. So yeah, I'm I'm getting hit a little bit, but it's pretty zen, right? I think we can all agree this is kinda crazy. And remember, this is like kind of a bad lance. <laughs> if I were doing fire elemental damage, like these rapid hitting weapons, elemental damage is a big part of your damage, so if I had a real fire weapon, but well, yeah. Some real sharpness, then you're cooking. Will you get the hell out of the way? I wanted the head. You ruined everything. Oops, not good. That was a bad counter. Swap! So if you don't have. That is a guard to attack. If you don't have guard plus one, you cannot counterattack the um, the um, hip check. I think this is gonna be a swipe. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have gambled on that. Uh, I got stuck. I should have done this short counter and just lived with it. Or side side rolled. That was bad. That's the uh, the lance game. Oh, Angie. Make sure you're facing the head when you counter roars. Like, if you're inside their body, uh, don't counter toward the body, because their head is behind you. You've got to turn around and block counter the head. That's the only way to do it. I need air. Oh. Oh my god. This wall. Walls are actually, like, really dangerous in Try, guys. They're almost never your friend. They're your friend against Devil Joe, because he does a lot of backpedaling, so if you're against the wall... Then when he's backpedaling, he doesn't... Well, he doesn't get to backpedal, so you're in position to continue hitting him. And whenever Joe backpedals, it's, it's not... You're not in danger if you're inside his body when he backpedals. Ow, fuck you. Okay, I really want to poke up the horns. Okay. I really want to win the fight. Because... 
Sword and Shield is coming up next. And I'm really hoping I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I literally don't even know the underwater buttons, so how pleasantly... Fuck, dude. So how pleasantly surprised can I get? Uldrat is really ruining my day. Every small monster in this game can ruin your day at any time, so... Well done, Monster Hunter Try, for making them... Uh, relevant. I mean that genuinely. It's frustrating, but it's, it's fine. It's good. I feel like it's going to be limping when it zones. So I'm just going to keep hitting it, and ex I expect it to limp. What is going on? It's so muddy in this area, this map. This uh, area is like a split into a V or something. Oh look, free damage. How stupid is that? Oh look, counterattack that. Oh look, I'm safe. Oh look, poke. Oh, I countered, but I think I was my facing was off. Again, I'm safe inside that crook. Are we gonna limp? Please limp. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't make a liar out of me. Wait, 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 stop attacking it. <laughs> if I accidentally kill it, that would be really bad. So that was Lance, this is sub 10. Okay, it's a, it's almost 10. Uh, it's gonna be a little over 10 when I capture it, but uh, so far, right, this has been it's pretty good. Iron out some of the kinks so you can see how this is a really excellent time. I didn't do anything like very difficult. At least I don't think. I don't know. Blue note. What do you got? I mean, it's just gonna be like Pelagosite at best, but I'll take it. Macalite. You need a frustrating amount of Macalite Earth Crystals and Iron Ore, even in high rank. I don't know why. It's very annoying. Alright, an hour 17. The last one's gonna be Sword and Shield. Oh, oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I got a horn. Good. Give me that. I missed it. I got another plate. So you can see, um... Yeah, well, I, like, I crushed Jaggy, I crushed Kurapeko, I crushed Royal Udrath, and my hunt times are getting longer and longer, and the monsters are getting tough. But part of this is, is that I'm... My, Gear is bad and I'm underprepared, especially that bowgun one. That was that was rough. What? Oh, I shit! I did the wrong thing. Put it in my bag. Mogus shallows could be a nice catch. Okay, I won't use the fish finder. I don't really know how that stuff works. Oh, we finished a cycle on the farm. I just want to lance it again. <laughs> All right, show me the money. Show me some Saturnians and some elder Saturnians so I can trade for things. I haven't named my cats yet. I love his, uh, I love that. That's a, only four. Get out of here. Okay, so we have 20,000. I think I'll use some more of these, why not? Can you tell I've menued these menus many times? <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to put these in my box. Scatterfish. Yeah, I've got over 100 scatterfish already. Pretty cool, right? Um, Rathian, I guess? Like, I would like to hit it during the roars. Peco Chopper. Again, I'm sure I can't upgrade it. I think it needs, like, Rathalos parts. 
Yeah, Rathalos Shell. Okay. This one would have been nice too. Okay, we go like this. So, yeah, I, I think the Poison Stinger is a target. This Rapid Fire is Thunder. Ugh, maybe I'll try it against the Wraths. I don't know. And this is crazy. You should. This is really good. In fact, I think I'm just going to forge it. This is not very good. Spend my plate on this, it's worth it. Let me do something before I forget. Oh, uh, uh, so indecisive. Put on Thunder Chris. There. Oh, oh. Uh, wait. This one. Put on Thunder Chris. Yeah, okay. Open sets, register. Okay. Done. Um, Brathian. Put on this. This is, what is this? Rare, rarity. Just curious. Yellow's high rarity, right? Okay, guys, I'm gonna learn the buttons. I don't know the buttons. Oh, I don't need health. Don't need health. Don't need health. Freddy Cat. I think that if I get it, it's like sets the monster's HP to the lowest possible roll. Okay, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> gonna need a lot of sharpening, guys. Speed sharpen is a very good skill. S tier skill, actually, I would say. Top tier in this game. Uh, yeah, sure. Check the oxygen supply. The game like has a recipe to make oxygen supplies, like air filters or whatever. Like, who on earth ever needs those? You'd be crazy to make and have those. Just made them for the combo list and just sold them for like one zenny, literally. Such garbage. What do I need? Oh, maybe just flash bomb first. Oh hi. Uh, what is this like? X, X, A. What is the combo, guys? What the fuck? Okay, so I get a three-hit X combo. The first two come out very nice, actually. So, oh, I shouldn't have done this this late. Oh, I'm not Lance. I'm not Lance. <laughs> I can't shield it. Shield advance. That's, that should be a hit rap single. I'm not Lance. I'm not Lance. I can't shield advance. Drop the beat. Why is it like this? Why are you like this? What's the jump attack like? Okay. I guess I'm doing this three-hit combo until the cows come home. Uh-oh. Oh, safe. Uh, I'm not Lance. Oh, God. You know, guys, at this hour, this might be an abandon. <laughs> How about a four-open showcase? This is just sad. Oh, no, I have Speed Sharp. I, I, I'm not Lance. Ouch. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Mm. Flash Bomb. So 
so slow. Like, sword and shield on land gets like five hit combos and they're beautiful. This, what is this? This is such garbage. Oh god, I just raged him, that's it? What is that, like three sharp, two sharpens already just to rage now? I don't know guys, I really gotta say, if you're playing Lance, Switch Axe, or Sword and Shield and you get to this part of the game, I really think you should just make a Lance. Did I say Lance, Switch Axe? A Long Sword, Switch Axe, Sword and Shield, I really think you should just make a Lance. But, you know, let's, let's give this a fair shot. The mobility is good, but it's SNS, it, has, it should be good, otherwise like, oh my god, why would you even use this weapon, ever? But uh, I feel very ineffective right now. Or maybe... No, I, I'm pressing the A button. It's also terrible. Like, why? Okay, that's it. I'm sharpen here. I'm sure I was about to lose it. Lose a uh, green. And also my sanity. I'll lose it. Oh god, it's so annoying. Happy off move. Okay, we don't have an opening here because I didn't get there in time. One, two, three. So weird. So <laughs> I'm cornered. Get lower. Surf of the water, surface of the water was cutting me off. I don't know, guys. How's the sun going? Hey. Pyro would be good here. Pyro would always be good. Oh, I, I'm mm, I have Rathian armor. <sighs> what did I break? Claw? X, 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 A. X, X, L. X, X, L. X, go and give it to you. X gonna give it to you. Ugh. I'm just mashing now. I, I can't believe how bad this combo is, that's all. I really cannot believe it. People said it was bad. I don't know how bad. Get behind him and I'll shut him here. Oh, I was hoping for two actually. I don't think I had any time in between that. That was great that I could block it. I was on the verge of getting splatted. You know, it's going to be better than my bowgun hunt time, so... What does that say? And, um... This weapon doesn't get caught by the electric field like switch axe or longsword would if you were too close. You know, I'm talking myself into that this is the best weapon. Stop beeping at me. I'm just taking those hand chips because I don't know what else I'm supposed to do about it. Like, I already have so limited options to do damage, I'm just gonna take that little chip to get these hits. Oh, oh I hate when this happens. I I'm, don't need to block that. I'm so used to not having earplugs. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Okay, yeah, cool, cool game. That's, that's great. Whoa, Ludroth showed up, really? 
since when does does Ludreth invade on this quest? I don't recall ever seeing this. Ludroth does look very oh my god. Fucking wall. That hurt a lot. Um I'm a little boned here. There's no way I'm committing to attacks like in this state with both of them here. Well one of you just zone, usually one of you scares the other away. It's not happening. I don't think you can throw dumbs underwater either. Yeah, so... Um... Ow, thanks? Oh yeah, good. He brought his harem, too. This isn't Sword and Shield's fault, but I'm still gonna blame Sword and Shield. Yeah, look look how good it is when he gets yellow. Oh, hi, Lutra. This is super... duper special awesome. Okay. Now I have to sharpen before I get back there into the fight. Okay, cool. It's so cute. It has a heart shield. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really yawning a lot. I'm. I'm seriously tired. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm tired. Oof. I think if I always use the leap attack, it's a little better. Um, you can actually hit the head and the end of the tail during the electric field, but it's so risky. If you don't get your positioning right, you're going to eat the electric shock, and it's... I know it hurts, so I'm not going to risk it. Especially not with Yam Brain. Oh, come on. Oof. Okay, it's not worse than Bowgun yet. Oh, it's tired. Oh my god, I broke the back? I mean, okay, this does do a lot of elemental damage, of course. But, hmm. The recovery is actually pretty fast on that. I think it's... is it gonna limp? No, it's just tired. It's heading... it's trying to head for land. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's good. Castling. Now I don't have to face them both at once again. It would be great if Loggy actually shows up on land. <laughs> I could actually hit real combos. But I don't know if it's gonna... make it all the way to four. Ow. Thanks. I would like a horn break, but I'm not gonna push my luck at this point. <gasps> better than uh better than bowgun. But again, I was so under geared with the bowgun. That'll get him, right? Don't touch me, Ludroth. Okay. I can't say I recommend this. And it's just the it's just the weapon, uh, the the movement. It's just the move set underwater. Is, why is it so crippled? <sighs> if there were some things I could change about try, it would be the switch axe and longsword progression, the underwater sword and shield move set, and then you know maybe some more monsters. But that's like not as important as all this other stuff. It's just sad.
But yeah, guys, that's that's the flagship monster for the game. That's the monster on the box art. That hip check, that hip check will wreck you. It's a cool fight. You ha he has a lot of cool gear, so you know, have some fun with him. I'm gonna sleep this day. Collect my fish, and then we'll wave goodbye. So you can see my preference. Lance, 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 Lance. <laughs> hey, you're back. Stunning pull us up. Mm, okay, I'll trade that. Give me... Cool. More of those, please. Nope. Mug the shallows, weather's fair, or we could haul. We'll save a fish finder on that. Okay, careful there. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, and keep on hunting.